Hello YouTube, it's PZZS in here. Um, this is actually going to be sort of a follow-up video to my uh, Bicycle Clay Poker Chips review. Um, in that video I had said, or I had um, touched upon one of the things that Bicycle advertises in these poker chips and that they have a very uh, nice sound. Alright, and I'm sure the camera's kind of dulling it a little bit, but I mean, you can hear the uh, nice little kerplinks that they make. And uh, in that video I said it almost sounds like there could be metal inside of it. And uh, I did say in that video that maybe eventually I'll try to um, dissect one and see what we find. Uh, if there are anything in there. So this is partially part of my own curiosity, but I figured I'd go ahead and record it. Uh, what I have right here is actually an extra. Uh, this is a sample that I got. Um, and a pa two pack of bicycle cards. I came with this one and also came with a red one, but I have lost that one, so I don't know where it is. But um, I figured that I'd use this one because I do actually like these chips. Uh, they're very nice. Um, I don't want to cut one of them in half, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this extra one I have. But let me again just macro one on this so you can see it. It is the exact same as all the other one as all as all these right here. The exact same thing. Um, this one is very well done though, so it's a little bit of a shame that I'm going to be cutting it in half, but you can see uh, that it's very, very well done. Um, I'm guessing that's partially because it's a sample, and they don't want to give you a crappy sample, <laughs> which would be uh, pretty interesting. And I just noticed something that I never noticed before. Uh, I'm turning it like this because I'm noticing that the club is right here, but when I turn it, it becomes a reverse side. So and th so then I was thinking that oh, maybe it just you know has it on the on the exact opposite portion of it. But then I look and here's a heart. But when I turn it, now it's a diamond. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. I I honestly never noticed that until just now. Let's see if it's that way on these. Uh, heart club. Oh, well, interesting. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm just uh, intrigued right now. All right. Interesting. All right then. <laughs> never noticed that ever um anyway this here again is just one of the uh a little uh sample i got so i'm obviously going to be uh sacrificing this one because uh it's just an extra and i don't use it for anything uh so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it Alrighty, so here we go time to do the dissection so i've got all my materials here i've got two pieces of paper um to produce create a nice uh surface so I've got two pieces of paper here. I'm just gonna have it like that. Um, so I think so. Um, here's the poker chip. I've got safety. Always essential to have safety, so make sure you wear that. Hello. All right. And here I've got the Dremel toolbox. Um, and here I have something you haven't seen in my videos very lately. My Dremel. So I'm gonna be using this to uh, get into it. So. Uh, without further ado, uh, I'll, actually I'm also going to be using a new um, cutting wheel because I think I might need a new one, uh, but we'll see. So I'll have I'll go ahead and get that out. All right. So there's that. Just because it might not, the ones I'm currently using they get a little small. So, and again, you know, this is just kind of my own curiosity. I'm really wondering. You know, what's in there to cause that little kerplink, you know? It kind of works, but... <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and put everything together and start. So, I need this. I'll set this over here so I'm going to move around. Alright, I'm going to... Pop that in place. And I'm going to unscrew the screw. So there's a little screw. Um, probably can't. You might be able to see that. Um, I apologize. The lighting's bad. It's not the best lighting here. But well, here let me. Well, now I'll just use this just for sake of time. So it's fine. Put our new cutting wheel on and go ahead and screw that down. All right. So I know it won't explode on us. 
Now we're going to close this up. Set this up aside. Also, something you can't really see, um, but it's kind of next to you. Uh, I've got my, uh, well here, I actually have my Zippo collection on here. Um, you know, it's just, I'm probably going to keep them on my desk. Uh, there's this nice little round area that, you know, once I, you know, I can actually, there's plenty of air, or space to put something like that on there. Um, that's probably not going to be uh, something I do forever. Uh, that might eventually be replaced with my printer. Uh, we'll see, though. I need to get a new one, though. Uh, but anyway, that's just a side note. Let's get into it. I'm going to use the low speed because it's clay, and uh, I don't want to make a huge, huge mess. So, here we go. Uh, all right. Let's cut right through the bicycle logo. Uh oh. Oh crap. This isn't good. Alright. We have an issue. Got stuck. So I popped the battery off. Ow. Oh. Alright. <laughs> well, I think I can conclude that there's no metal in here. But I want to cut it the rest of the way in half. Um, but I'm pretty certain uh, that if there were metal in here, I would know by now. Because it'd be a little harder to cut through it. Um, and there'd probably be a little bit of sparks created. So I'm pretty certain that there's no metal inside of here. But let's keep this going. There we are. That's it. So actually, this is very interesting. Um, I actually am actually um a little surprised uh, to tell you the truth. On uh, anyway, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um in a bit. I am actually a bit surprised that uh, what Bicycle did here, but uh, there is no metal. I can tell you that for sure, but uh, I do want to get an, a nice up-close shot in some better lighting, so um, anyway, here are the two halves for now. Um, let's go ahead and take a close look at them. Uh, it's pretty interesting, actually. Alright, I'm sure some of you might want to see how my Zippo collection looks. Uh, that that's how it looks right now. Um, again, it's only three so far, but uh, I bet you just have one right here. Or I have one on either side, and then the middle is the one in the case, which is the blue one. I'm using my hand to use, hold a flashlight, but uh, the blueberry mat Zippo. That one, as you can see. So uh, that stays in its box. Uh, I had it closed though. Um, Mainly because uh, when I set this up initially, uh, for some reason I just forgot to open the box. But I guess it's good that it was closed because uh protected it from any clay flying at it. Um, so anyway, that's how, I, uh, that's how my Zippo collection looks at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at the poker chip though. Alright, so here it is. Uh, we got the two halves right here. Uh, I'm going to show you them in a minute. But again, I'm, Michael did something very interesting when they manufactured these. Um, when you look at this poker chip, um, immediately what you may think is, you know, if you think of if you think of straight clay, you probably think of white clay. All right, the majority of this poker chip is well, what, of what you can see is white. As you can see, it's the majority of the the uh, visible um, uh, the chip that's visible is actually white, uh, as you can see. So one would probably believe, one would be led to believe that they probably used white clay as the core. Well, actually, that's not the case. 
Actually, let me show you this. They actually use black, or the color of the chip, which actually is very interesting. Um, I, I, and you know, this is actually why I uh, wanted to show you this up close also, is because, you know, uh, I thought that was just really weird, that there's actually black clay inside as opposed to white clay. Um, there is no metal in it. That's not too much of a surprise, though, because if you watch my review on the box, it does advertise them as being clay filled, and that is indeed true. They are filled with clay. But I just kind of was wondering, you know, was it was bicycle hiding a um, a metal disc or something in there? Because there, it almost sounds like there should be metal in here. I mean, listen. All right. Well, it's gonna be again. The camera's gonna muffle it, but well, here. Uh, I mean, you know, if you just take a few of them, you know, just kind of dribble them on your hand, just sounds like there should be metal or something in there, so I was wondering if maybe Apple put, like, a metal disc or something in there, but clearly they haven't, so um, it is, a, it must just be a, I don't know, um, type of clay that makes noise or something when it impacts with something, so again, just kind of, kind of interesting. Uh, you can... Uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably not going to get rid of it. I'll probably hold on to it just because, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll figure something out to do with this. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching this somewhat pointless video. Um, but again, I guess, uh, if anything, if you were ever wondering what could be inside of the clay poker chips, it, it prevented you from having to go in and sacrifice your own chips. And uh, I haven't seen anybody do this to, I don't think, any chip, actually. So, hmm. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Adios.